Fish has a single circulatory system. Many animals with double circulatory systems have high metabolic rates and those with single circulatory system, such as aspiration. In a double circulatory system, Blood is returned to the heart after it has become oxygenated. The heart then pumps it at high pressure to the rest of the body. In a single circulatory system, blood moves directly from the oxygenating organs, gears, lungs to the rest of the body at a relatively low pressure. Therefore, a double system is able to supply oxygen quickly to respiring body cells, which allows metabolic rate to be higher. What would you tell how she should do to reduce her chance of having a heart attack? How would you use the child that bring this to her? She cannot do anything about her diabetes. She should stop smoking. This will reduce the risk from 30% to 7% or greater. If she carries on smoking as she gets older, the risk of heart attack will rise to 22% when she reaches her 60. If you start smoking, it will only be 12%. Such as how the frequent use in this drug have been determined. Health records have been kept for large numbers of women over long periods of time. The records have been grouped into women of a particular age and into smokers and non-smokers, people with diabetes and people with fat. The percentage of people in each group having heart attacks has been worked out. You can see that there is a hole in the septum between the left and right atria. Now. So just the function of this hole in the heart of the fetus. It allows oxygenated blood to flow directly from the right atrium to the left atrium. The oxygenated blood then leaves the heart in the aorta to deliver oxygen to respiring tissues all over the fetus body. When the baby is born, it takes its first breath. The hole in the septum of the heart quickly curves. As for why this is important. This prevents oxygenated birds in the left atrium mixing with dirty oxygenated blood in the right atrium. If they mix, then there will be less oxygen in the birds in the aorta, so body tissues will not get as much oxygen delivered to them and will not be able to respire as fast. The tissues might run short of energy. Arteries carry birds at high pressure, while veins carry birds at low pressure. As spring, how these structures are related to this function. Wall thickness. Firstly, to withstand the high pressures of blood pump directly from the heart, arteries have thick muscular walls. The pressure in veins is much lower than in arteries, so the walls are thinner and less muscular. Base. Veins have base, but arteries do not have. Veins prevent the bad flow of blood and strings it move in one direction towards the heart. Lumen size. Another structural difference between arteries and veins is the lumen size. Arteries have a smaller lumen than veins, which is another adaptation to withstand high pressure. In contrast, veins have a larger lumen, which facilitates the flow of blood at lower pressure. This group changed in pass rate over the period. At high altitude, pass rate initially increased and falls. The slow fall in pass rate over the almost two years at high altitude compared with the very rapid fall in just two weeks at low altitude. Slightly slower pass rate at low altitude after having been at high altitude compared with before traveling to high altitude. After return back to sea level at low altitude, there's an initial fall and then rise again. At high altitude, pass rate initially increased at first. The slow fall pass rate over the almost two years at high altitude compared with the very rapid fall in just two weeks at low altitude. Slightly lower pass rate at low altitude after having been at high altitude compared with before traveling to high altitude. After return back at sea level at low altitude, there's an initial fall and then rise again. Describe the changes in the number of red blood cells over the period. Overall trend, red blood cell concentration increased at high altitude but falls with time, then decreases again when back at low altitude. There's a slightly lower concentration six weeks after having returned to low altitude compared with before traveling to high altitude. State the function of red blood cells. 
red blood cell transport oxygen. So this is the reason for the change in number of red blood cells during the first year of the study. This less oxygen is available in the air at high altitude, so less diffused into the blood. The person adapted to this by producing more red blood cells to help increase the amount of oxygen that could be absorbed into the blood and transport to body cells for respiration. Muscles need a good supply of oxygen in order to be able to work hard and fast. Athletes is often trained at high altitude for several months before a major competition that will be held at a lower altitude. A person who is trained at high altitude will have a faster pulse rate and more red blood cells. This will increase the rate at which oxygen can be supplied to muscles, making it possible for them to walk faster because they can respire faster.